What's up guys? Welcome back to Keeper RL. I have some, some good news and bad news. The bad news is I was moving some files around between uh, between drives and doing a bit of system maintenance and I lost a save. Uh, the good news is that means we can start as Parastore right here and <laughs> start a new dungeon uh, where we don't have a giant hole or giant back door. Um, that that could probably be, you know, this is probably a, a blessing. But, eh, I think we would have been fine. Uh, so we are, I already forgot his name. <laughs> but we're in the Valley of Abara. Starts with a P. That's all I know. Alright, let's, uh, let's do our little take control thing and just kind of wander around aimlessly just to kind of see what's around us. And actually, let's look at the map. Uh... Looks like this is the main mountain section right here. So all of this is just extra stuff. Alright, well I guess we're going to be digging in somewhere up here probably. This guy is zooming around everywhere. And I'm going to scout probably a good chunk of this out because I don't want uh, what happened last time to happen this time. Oh, we have bandits. Not sure if I can take on bandits, so we're actually going to, uh, to head on back up here. Alright, let's get going. Now, we probably shouldn't build up here because there aren't... Actually, there are a lot of trees. Never mind. Um, hmm. I do kind of like this spot, though, right here. I think we're going to build up here. I think this is a good plan. Okay, let's release the keeper, and we are going to dig into here, and where are we going from here? I think we're going to go from here up to probably this area. I want all of this iron just to have in the future, so we'll probably do that sort of zigzaggy type thing that we did last time. Okay, everyone needs to calm down. Everyone needs to calm down. Alright, and we'll come in here, and then this can be kind of a... Uh, just like a corridor area. So we will maybe have a little bit of storage over here. I don't want to take up too... Actually, you know what? I don't want to take up that much room. Um, this can just be a, a room with some gas traps and stuff in it. And then this we can probably take advantage of and we'll do one of these guys right here like this alright so this is gonna be our main corridor type area uh, which unfortunately means that our storage room is gonna be quite a ways away from uh, the entrance but that's not too big of a deal we'll go ahead and put a storage room uh, right here Hmm. There we go. We'll put uh we'll put one right here. And this will be our first little storage room. Alright, they can get going on that. Let's get some trees going and let's uh go ahead and summon a few more imps. I have eight imps. Okay, that's the number I like. So it's gonna take him a little bit of extra time to get through this uh, iron ore, which is okay, it gives us a little more time to plan. So we have a nice big mountain this time. Uh, instead of, ooh, I guess that's maybe a dragon's lair. Because there's just random gold and flaming swords scattered around. Um, I guess we're, I don't even remember what I was saying. Oh yeah, we'll have a, a much larger area to build in this time. As opposed to last time where I just kind of haphazardly dug through the mountain, wasn't paying attention, and accidentally dug out uh, not one but two back entrances into the base. So, yeah. Well, <laughs> hopefully that doesn't happen this time. I guess we could accidentally dig into a, uh, a cave that is owned by other people. Which wouldn't be the greatest thing in the world, but it also wouldn't be the end of the world. Alright, let's try to figure out where we're putting stuff. Um, I think I kind of want the Keeper Hall to maybe wrap around. and then Or not the Keeper Hall, what am I talking about? The, uh, the library section. To be kind of up this way and just out of the way from everything. Um, 
So let's maybe have it something like this and we'll have some central rooms right here. So we can do the keeper room or the, the library room. I kind of want this iron though. Let's, uh, let's, let's try to take advantage of this iron as much as we can. Alright, so let's do... That's five. Let's do this. This will be our library right here. Um, and then I'm thinking probably down in this section we'll have our dorm area. And then uh, maybe a crafting quarter. Actually, this will be kind of like our magic quarter area. And then we'll have the dorms and living area down here. And then we will probably have a uh, crafting area over here. So let's go ahead and set this up as a nice long hallway. And I kind of like doing those little uh, tiny rooms just off to the side. I just think it adds some variety to what we normally have. So we're going to do something like this, and then maybe we'll have a uh, couple of deluxe rooms. <laughs> and then, then, and then, 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 uh, and then this will wrap around over here, and then we'll have probably training branch off from right here. Actually, let's make this a little bit bigger of a room. Let's do something like that. And then we can have training uh, come down this way this we can connect up to that hole and this is so much for you guys to dig out all right let's do this so you guys only dig out this much right now all right I'm gonna speed it up to very fast so these guys can get some work done um, and then we'll have the training section probably like right here do something like this with maybe maybe multiple entrances into it um, and then right here we can actually have our equipment area all right so this got set up so let's go ahead and set up storage for resources right here this will be our first little storage area um, and then we'll probably build another one that's down here connected to this iron uh, I was also thinking about maybe doing a graveyard there instead we're probably gonna need another storage room right away um, so far I'm liking this layout though. Alright, so let's go ahead and get that going. Uh, they actually dug these out already, so let's go ahead and get a couple dorms in. Like so. And I kinda would like this eyeball uh, out front here so we can just kinda see what's going on. And we'll put a torch out front just to let them know that we're home. Always leave the light on. And we may end up taking these torches down, but it's always nice to have a little bit of light just kind of around. And we have enough mana to where we can afford to drop a few eyeballs. Okay. Come on, there we go. Mm-hmm. Putting torches down. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and drop in. We can have them working on part of the library right now, just to get that started. And this library should, I think, be big enough to research everything. Um, seeing that notice was kind of weird. I'm guessing there's just going to be stuff planned uh, for the future. But seeing that uh, your library isn't big enough sort of notice was kind of awkward. But now they're just kind of moving stuff around. I know we need a library to start research. They have to uh, they have to work on that, though. All right, so what were we saying? We were saying this is going to be our equipment room, which I rather like. I like the idea of having it over here, and it needs to be a little bit longer. And then this can come down. That auto-save, though. Alright, it is now nighttime. Alright, we need to also figure out where our treasure room is going to be. Um, hmm, we'll cancel that. Alright, and since they don't really have anything else to do, I will have them 
just go ahead and dig out the rest of this stuff. Uh, we do need the rest of the library to get built, though. Looks like we don't have enough trees, but we have plenty of wood outside. And I kind of want to take our keeper out this night. Um, we'll go ahead and drop in a training room in this section. We'll do a 5x5 and go ahead and put in a few torches as well. Um, and then we also need to plan out our crafting section. So we have this area right here for the equipment storage. And I kind of wish the space was a little bit bigger or like one taller. That way I could have the uh, doorway centered. But I think it should be fine. We do have a little bit of water right here. Which should be okay. Um, and we do have enough to get crafting. Okay, good. So we can go ahead and start working on that. Um, let's let's put in a few doors just to get ourselves started here. That's bridge. I was trying to build a bridge. <laughs> All right, and we'll do something like this. Um, and then this section, because we're going to probably have fighters in here, I'm going to remember to keep the doors one away. That way uh, we can get people up there and they won't get attacked by three guys at once. I I remembered. <laughs> and I'm going to do the same thing over here. Alright. Actually, I should probably do the same thing. And, well, I don't think, I don't think they'll make it to these rooms. Um, if they do, good on them. Alright, so they have plenty of stuff to dig out right now. And our keeper is just sitting there. We have plenty of night left. So this would be a good opportunity for us to go get some, uh, some mana. I don't really know what's right there. Alright. So I think we're going to take our keeper out. So let's do it. Keeper, you're coming with me. Going, you're going this way. Alright, so we know that we have some bandits over to the east, so let's just kind of... Oh. Okay, we just found a road. That's alright. I don't know what that tile is. It's just, it's just another road. Okay, these are the lizard men, so we are going to try to get away from them. This is where having those scouting ravens is quite handy. Alright, looks like we found a little peasant house. So I'm going to take over clicking. I'm not even clicking, I'm hitting my keys. It sounds like I'm clicking. <laughs> so we got some rats going. That's fine. Open the chest. Uh, a sword. Very nice. Let's equip that. More rats. These farmers. Ooh, an axe. Let's go ahead and equip the axe instead. Alright. Not really sure where. Oh, he ran off up to here. I see you. I might maybe even catch you. Aha! We cut off the peasant's leg. This should be some good mana for us. Maybe there will be another house somewhere over here. The tiny houses are elven houses, and elves are dicks. So we want to stay away from those tiny houses. Come here, pony. I don't really care about the pony. Aha! You have trapped yourself inside with me. Another sword. Armor enchantments. Uh, we're actually going to go ahead and apply that because it's at least... Oh, it's for the robe though. Why did I do that? Oh, I forgot. I forgot. We got some iron boots going. We got some more rats going. It wouldn't be a peasant house without a few rats in it, I guess. Uh, the armor enchant and the weapon enchants are actually permanent which is actually really cool um, we're gonna head back because I was worried that something like this might happen <laughs> all right and unfortunately ooh, well I lucked out so I don't know if you guys can see this but there is a giant I can't ugh, I can't drag a box like I can in RimWorld. Uh, right here, though. This hallway. Thankfully, they can't get in because I told them to stop digging uh, 
next to the library. That way, they, that way they wouldn't just arbitrarily dig a hallway that may or may not lead to anything uh, for the time being. But apparently there was a space up here. So I almost did what we did in the last episode. Uh, I almost did that again. Yeah. Um, let's actually have our treasure room. Like, right here. Let's do that. And then we have maybe a few traps in this hallway or something. We can put like a boulder trap right here to crush anyone coming to steal our treasure. All right, so you guys dig that out. So we're still going on very fast speed, which is fine because we're just trying to get some, some basic stuff set up. All right. We'll build a few treasure chestuses for the moment. That's a torch. I didn't want the torch. I'm sorry. Okay. I wanted the door. Put the door here. Uh, we'll even put another door here. We we need to vault in our treasure. And let's get a couple of torches in here. Very good. Alright, so this is all taken care of. Uh, looks like we have quite a few people right now. Um, a few orc warriors and a shaman and an ogre. Okay, so this section down here is going to be our equipment storage for right now. Very large equipment storage and we'll put a couple doors in front of it. Um, I would like to have some torches in the hallways. Come on now. To make seeing a little bit easier. These rooms will eventually get occupied and I need to dig this out right here. <laughs> um, I think that should be everything for the time being. Uh, I'm gonna put an eyeball here just so we have vision of this section. All right, and now we need to figure out where we're gonna put our manufactory type area. So I'm gonna turn the speed back to uh, normal while we figure this out and they can Pretty much go do whatever the hell they want. We'll uh we'll tell them to dig out some trees. Never know when we'll need lumber, so they can go dig out some trees and maybe make some uh. Oops, not eyeball torch. Maybe make some tree spirits grumpy or something. All right, and I kind of do want to get some zombies going, and I kind of like this area right here for the zombies. I don't know why. But I do. It would make more sense, I think, to actually dig in uh, this way and then use this as another storage area, though. So I think that's probably what we're going to do. And we need torches inside here. That way we can see what's going on. All right, so let's uh, let's figure this out. How much space do we have? In between here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we could have. This is what I'm thinking. I know it's going to be a little crazy. We could do a six by six manufactory type area. And then it would just be completely open uh, aside from this wall. And then we'd have another wall. And then another six by six, and then this could be uh, like the foundry or forge type area. And I'm a little hesitant to dig further in, but let's uh, let's see how this goes. I want to dig a hallway over this way and see if we have enough room. And same thing up here. I want to see. I want to see what's up here. I want you guys to dig stuff. Dig, dig, go, go. Imps, dig dig. And we should have plenty of money. We do. Uh, we didn't get as much mana as I would have liked, which we could have definitely stayed out there for a lot longer. But we do have enough to get traps researched, which is good. Alright, so we are getting some, some orcs. Alright, looks like there's water here, so this is going to pretty much ruin these plans. Curious how much space 
Maybe we'll have a little space up here. I think that might go into the water too. Hmm. We'll uh we'll have them dig out a four by four. And I know that's a really tiny area for crafting. It is not ideal. But it's what we got. At least for the time being. And we'll put a torch in the hall so you guys can kind of see what you're doing. Alright, so we would have had enough space to do a little bit wider of a room, but not anything any longer. So let's uh, extend this a couple tiles out. And then this will be our workshop so we can start making some traps. Um, I'm not sure what we're going to do about this stuff over here though. We don't really have enough room right here for much else. Let's go ahead and put in our workshop along with the torches that they will require for working. <laughs> it went in the spot I wanted twice in a row and I just kept clicking. Alright, and we'll put a, a door here. And now we can start working on traps once that gets going. This is a big and super empty base. <laughs> it's so empty. Um, I guess we can actually just dig out the section right here and then just have uh, it'll have one section open to water or one wall will be open to water instead of being a wall um, but this will let us have a forge right here and we have plenty of mana right now so let's go ahead and get uh, iron working going and then this will be the, uh, the forge area and then maybe we'll get a ritual room next maybe not sure alright so there's our forge let's go ahead and put those doors in torch it up pause it while torching because walls are mean alright well now we just need some goblins to join our forces and then we should be okay we have a decent amount of gold still we're getting a good amount of mana uh, we have a decent amount of iron wood and granite so I think we're okay uh, at least for the time being I understand we need weapons for our minions that's why we have a workshop and a forge we need goblins though it's weird seeing an ogre work in a workshop I guess I just considered them like super clumsy or I always consider them super clumsy. Alright, so let's go ahead and get uh, some traps going. Actually, let's put a couple web traps right here, and then we'll have our super douchey boulder traps right here. Um, where am I going? There we go, traps. Put a, a gas trap here. Maybe a gas trap here. Maybe a, a terror trap here. I don't know. We're kind of just winging it. Um, I'm not sure if this is enough space. If two blocks is enough space for a boulder trap to do any serious damage. But we can find out. Um, so I think two more web traps should be good. And again, I feel like a dick. <laughs> if someone's going to be playing this, I'm going to feel like a dick. Uh, especially if they don't have those flies, the summon insect scrolls. Because, like, getting through this as a player is, uh, is kind of a nightmare. There really needs to be a better way to handle this if you are a player. Um and doing the adventuring side but right now there isn't unfortunately 
put an alarm trap here. Um, which really sucks. It really, really sucks. Because, like, this whole thing right here, I can just flat out line. Nothing but web traps, nothing but boulder traps. Same thing for, like, this room over here. On both sides, boulder traps and web traps. Like, it's kind of ridiculous. Um, obviously, I'm doing it to keep our dungeon safe from intruders. But keeps it safe from players too a little too safe let's go ahead and add in a few more dorm rooms maybe that's why we can't get any goblins because all the rooms are taken uh, which is understandable so these guys can maybe we'll get some goblins now uh, they can build the dorms library is still researching away uh, we are probably gonna go for um hmm Let's go for sorcery just in case we need it. And then let's go for alchemy. And try to figure out where we're going to put our alchemy. I kind of like the idea of having it behind the library. Um, there's an idea. Let's do that. Let's put it behind the library. We'll put the alchemy lab right here. And then we can actually have a path cut across the water to uh, this hallway over here. I was thinking about into the workshop, but I wouldn't want them disturbing my work with their potions and such. Let's go ahead and set up the laboratory, and then this will keep it uh, close by for the shaman so they can kind of flip-flop back and forth with whatever they are working on. This will be a huge success. I I can feel it. <laughs> All right, and wow, look at the time. Uh, we are getting some goblins, which is really good. We will probably need a little bit more gold soon, but thankfully there is a lot over here, uh, so we can get that pretty easily. Um, yeah, time time kind of flew by, at least for me, in this episode. Not sure about you guys, but it, it definitely did for me. Um, I'm kind of I'm kind of liking this base layout so far, and we're gonna be working on getting our our traps going. Let's drop in a few more boulder traps, and then that's pretty much gonna be the end of this episode. Uh, like I said, I lost my save file, and I'm sorry about that. Uh, but I don't think it matters too much because we didn't really spend any time in in that dungeon. At least for me, I don't think it matters too too much. Um, we almost did the same thing that we did last time, and by we, I mean me, uh, messing up like that. <laughs> Where we almost dug a back door into our dungeon, which would not have been good. Uh, but thankfully, we, we didn't. Thankfully, we didn't. <laughs> Alright, well, I think that is going to be the end of this episode. That's going to be it for me. So hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully this new dungeon will work out quite nicely. I, uh, I have faith in this new dungeon. I would like to kill everything on the map, and I think that this dungeon can make it happen. So let's try to do that. Let's try to kill everything on the map. Last time I got kind of greedy. Uh, I should have I should have stopped spam attacking and started to heal. But yeah, you know, story of my life. I get greedy and start or keep attacking. But yeah, <laughs> as always. Thanks for watching, and have a good one.